Hi, I'm Avni and welcome to this episode of Perspectives. Through this series, I want to explore different artistic styles, intentions and cultural influences in Indian art through the theme of the portrayal of women. I hope that this episode gives you a slight glimpse into the numerous facets that go into the creation of a single piece of artwork and helps you appreciate the thought process of the artist. So I'm here today in the studios of Mr. Lakshma Ghar and I've seen his work growing up in my grandparents' house and I just found it extremely intriguing so I wanted to talk to him about his journey of art practice. So I've seen that in a lot of your work there's this continuous presence of women and you've shown them as powerful figures, as goddesses but then again you've also shown them as you know everyday commoners and it's reflected through all the different mediums that you've used whether it's ceramic whether it's etching whether it's sketches so i just wanted to know whether there was a reason as to why you've used women so much across your work female image is the most admired image both in in, in terms of writing cultural literature and especially in visual art and look at our temples, look at our ethnic stories, everywhere the, the kind of description which is given, why there is a presence of female image in my work. But now it is very different. For me, I don't think uh, my, my work will survive without having a female image in my work. I feel it is incomplete like the image of the Shiva or Ardhanarishwara. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you, the, the very concept of the universe yeah. is incomplete without the presence of the female. Mm-hmm. And then you also mentioned that you don't like using color. Like, is there a reason for that? They are very positive in the expression. I can very clearly see what is happening there. But whereas color, somehow I am not happy both in terms of the technicality, you know, how the color is applied, and plus, it doesn't mean anything. It's just a color application, but it has no sense in it. When you realize that, you know, our retina uh, is capable of seeing between white and black, pitch, black, dark. Yeah. There are nine gray. And from that day, I felt that, well, there is so many wonders that you can do just with black and white. So, these are some of the reasons that you choose. It is your choice. An artist has a choice. Today I have a choice. So, in one of your paintings, I've seen those women with nature. And then in the middle, some of the trees also were like morphing into women. So, why was there any particular reason as to why you said so it integrates the women with nature. Folklore is, is very dramatic, mm-hmm. both visually and conceptually. Yeah. People will sing a song. It relates to nature. Mm-hmm. In fact, he's speaking about the grace and the sensitivity of the female body when she is carrying a basket to the field. That rhythm which she has in her body. So this kind of a fantasization in the folklore just comes very close to my imagination. That's how a male can become a tree, a tree can become a female, and eventually she can become an animal. It's up to me. Uh, the elements in my world, they keep on appearing and reappearing. The experimentation, like we have our gods and goddesses, they all have their vehicles yeah. to travel. Then somebody has a vehicle uh, like uh, eagle. So these are the kind of interpretations. Then I feel that why not my goat also make a woman fly? Mm-hmm. So it is not a god or a goddess, but I, it is just my fantasy, you know, my own imagination, my own improvisation of the images that I been seeing through or listening to the kathas 
and listening to the folk stories, the folklore, probably these are all the elements which keep on appearing or keep on provoking my thought uh, when I work here. So sometimes they do come consciously and sometimes they don't come consciously. Ilakshmaji, thank you so much for talking to me today. I really enjoyed speaking with you. I think that everything you said really reflects through your work and it was extremely insightful.